With our container image on Docker Hub, we can use it as part of an Azure App Service web app. Let's create a new web app resource and deploy our container image to it. We have our container image that we've already deployed to Docker Hub, MSFT US Dev Next Web App, and already has the latest tag. Now, we can jump over to the Azure portal and we can create an Azure App Service web app. We're going to just go with as many defaults as possible here. We're going to create a new resource group. We're going to just call this a quick demo. And we are going to create a new web app name just using just random gibberish. Try to get as random as possible. I'm going to select Docker container for the type of publishing we want to do. We're going to select Linux and we're going to just go with the default region um, and go again, many defaults as possible. I'm going to select next Docker and instead of going with any of the quick starts for the image source, we're going to select Docker Hub and you can choose public or private. If you choose private, you have to provide it with credentials to access your private image. We'll choose pub public today since I've made this a public image. Now from here, I can put an MSFT US dev slash and this is where I'll put in the name of my image next web app next web app. Now, I could continue configuring things, but that's enough for today's demo. I'm going to go to Review Create. Going to select Create. And again, I went with most defaults. I can configure more things to bring the pricing down. Um, a lot of stuff like the billing, the SKU, stuff like that, or just me going with defaults. They might be um, conditions of the time I was recording this demo. All sorts of things can be configured, but I was just going with as many defaults as possible to make this as um, quick of a demo as possible. So um, with a little bit of video magic, I'm going to speed up this part of the video. All right, it looks like our web app is deployed. So I'm going to go ahead and select go to resource. And I'm going to select browse. And you'll see that our containerized web application has been deployed successfully. And it works just like it works if we were running it on our local machine. So we were able to use our containerized deploy for GitHub apps, our actions web app in Azure app service.